the, the project is a milling and repaving of the uh, secondary runway. The FAA has deemed the runway to be in poor condition. We're going to go in and uh, restrengthen the runway, uh, repave, and regroup the runway. It is a mostly state-funded project, 75% state funding and 25% local funding. Uh, this project shouldn't last more than probably 45 days. We actually just uh, finished mill and overlay of our primary runway. Since that has been done, it, it'll make uh, this project go a lot quicker and uh, won't hinder any of our tenants. This is about a $2.6 million project. Um, the FAA uh, will be funding 90% of it, state uh, funding of 5% uh, and local 5%. Uh, this project is going to be to rehabilitate about 975 uh, feet of GA taxiway as well as 30,000 square yards of the South Apron. The South Apron project will allow for the GA pilots who are housed in those hangars to have direct access to and from the apron without crossing into the commercial apron. Uh, so we are currently working on the design phase for our uh, new GA terminal. We're about 60% done with that design. Uh, we, we've got a couple of hangars planned as well as, as, well as the terminal. Um, and and we're, we're working on the, the funding sources for those projects right now. Basically, uh, we're, we're going to go before the commission to get approval to select a design firm. That's a process that will take uh, up to six to eight months. And after that, uh, hopefully we can go out and get a construction uh, bid. A few years back, the commission elected to uh, build a facility right back at its current location, uh, right there at the corner of Jackson and Oglethorpe Boulevard. So the plans are to you know, design a new facility, demolish what's there now, and go back and re rebuild with something new. Very important to the Harlem District area. It was very vital back then in the, uh, so during the Civil Rights Movement. So we want to, uh, in our new facility, capture some of that history um, this is a very, very big stage for us in this process of, of this project that's been around for years, like you just said. Um, it'll be a very important project to the community, uh, for our passengers. Uh, it'll instill some money down into the Harlem District, and hopefully uh, it'll spur what we'd call transit-oriented development later on down the road. This is a, a SPLOS 7 project. It's uh, one of the uh, traffic signal improvements of six. There's six of them. Currently, we've got span wires out there that's being upgraded to what's called mast arm poles. And it'll uh, also improve the pedestrian crossings. It'll put ADA handicap ramps in. So we've got a lot of pedestrian traffic out there associated with Mount Zion Church. And so anytime you make an improvement with a traffic signal, we're trying to make it compatible and, and uh, accommodate pedestrian crossings as well. So as soon as we get this one going, we're, we're already working on the next one. And so we're just going to be rolling them out periodically. Just to, as you know, we only have so much money we can spend per year. So uh, this is the one we'll do this year and then we'll roll out another one as the funding becomes available.